Is Joey TV on? Yeah. All right. All righty. So, got the Wheeler crit number. I'm not sure. This is from the 24th of May. Just about to get into peak uh, crit season. Anyway, I decided to. Or actually, just warming up. Got kind of caught on the front row, so um, yeah, we took off here, and I decided it might be a good idea. I thought felt like I needed to warm up or something, or not really sure what I was thinking, but just took off and decided to kind of lead it out the first lap or so. And um, yeah, we had pretty decent, pretty good quality field. Um, the weather was kind of kind of typical crazy Oklahoma weather. It was windy super windy south wind so right at this point I got a pretty wicked tailwind going and you know as you made this corner it got you know a pretty wicked cross headwind and then you kind of you know got you know as you made the next corner it's kind of a wicked head crosswind kind of going the other direction but anyway yeah super windy and it's kind of I don't know hot and muggy a little bit I don't know if you would consider, you know, mid-80s or so hot, but, you know, it's been definitely warmer than what it has been or what I've, I'm actually used to. So, anyway, we kind of get going here and, um, you know, kind of let out the first lap. And I think Rob put in right there the actual first little attack. And, you know, it seemed like from this point on, at least for me anyway, it seemed like it was pretty pretty hard so um, yeah it was you know this I pretty much uh, included the whole portion of up until the point where I got dropped which didn't take long on at this particular day and which is I don't know kind of a bummer but you know it's sort of opposite you know of my mentality from the Ray the Wheeler from last week you know it's I thought I was gonna pretty much not be in great shape and um, uh, rode ultra conservative or you know this one I rode a little more aggressive or not necessarily aggressive attacking wise but you know kind of being up in the mix and stuff and whatever and I don't know kind of paid a little bit here and you know shortly but anyway right you know we uh, it was Eric there put in a little dig me you know and so we chase that down caught back up to Rob and then you know this this part right here you know when you're going into the tailwind it's really this was the hardest part if you weren't you know you're sitting on a wheel in the right spot going into the headwind it's pretty uh, easy that's really where you can recover unless you're the guy on the front or whatever off you know in the attack or whatever but um, you know so once you get into here it's easy to get in the sweet spot and recover but the tailwind portion is kind of you know, you're not really getting a draft from the guy in front of you, so you're just having to match whatever power, you know, they're doing. And, you know, if you start burning all your matches and, you know, pretty soon you're, you know, if you, I don't know, I, I, I kind of, it's like, it, you know, I'm kind of looking at this as far as, you know, how we get into it. Evan takes off there and we kind of get into a little, I don't know, four-man rotation sort of kind of. And, um... I don't know, kind of feel like I over-smoked it a little bit or just, you know, started my legs, started writing checks that my lungs couldn't catch and eventually kind of caught up and, you know, getting a little frustrated because I, you know, kind of wanted to set in for a little bit. So I, you know, I don't know, we'll kind of get to that here in just a bit. But anyway, we're going. Uh, there's old Stefan from Germany. Uh, he's living here now, riding pretty strong. He just got... Uh, his uh, four-man team won the National Collegiate Championship just a couple weeks ago. Their little four-man team time trial, so he's definitely rolling pretty good right now. Uh, yeah, Chad's taking a takes a pretty hard pull here, and I don't know. We kind of had a little miscommunication, you know. I think he gave me that. Yeah, he gave me the elbow flick there, and so trying to pull around you know and it's like at this point right here he needs to you know if he's on the other side of me I would have a draft but it was like he didn't really 
set up so we were both kind of, you know, just in the wind right here. And so it was kind of, uh, you know, like made it a little harder, you know, and then going into here and, you know, kind of no recovery. And I'm trying to keep the speed up or whatever. And so, I don't know, it wasn't too awful long after this where it started to, I don't know, catch up. But it kind of reminded me of... Uh, um, Sometimes when you, if you haven't done a time trial in a long time, you know, and maybe a time trial that's, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes long, and you kind of, you know, know what you can do, maybe power-wise, you know, like, say your FTP is about 300 watts, you know, so, uh, you know, 15, 17 minutes, I can probably hold it slightly above my FTP. So, you know, say your FTP is 300 and you start out and you're doing 350 and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, this, I, um, I can hold this the whole way, this, this is no big deal at all. And then you get into that five to six minutes in and you're sucking, sucking air, you know, and it's like, oh man, I, you know, I over-smoked it. And so you got to back off for a couple minutes to recover and, you know, that's kind of what I felt like, I don't know, around the six, you know, around this point, maybe seven, eight minutes, and just, you know, it was just kind of hard and fast after that. You know, we're still chasing Evan. He, he was definitely going well, and uh, he, you know, solo, and we got four guys, and we were going pretty hard, and we, you know, actually for a while, we weren't really making, making much ground on him. So, I don't know, we, you know, eventually caught him, and, you know, got pretty fast after that. It's, you'll see but yeah it's a pretty good crowd this is probably the biggest crowd I've seen out here pulling in it took me a while to weave around you know to not get on the course to get into the, the kind of the parking lot area there so it's kind of cool that um, you know the little venue there it's they're got the uh, they just put that Ferris wheel in that used to be in um, California on, on one of the boardwalks out there and they've got that up and Got some buildings up and uh, I don't know, some other kind of cool stuff there. It looks like the, the trail, there's a bike trail that's just, um, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile uh, just north of where the course is here and um, it'll connect up to it. So, you know, but th this is the point where, you know, Peter had just taken a pull there and it was like, uh, so, you know, me and him were both kind of like, ah, you know, I'm tired of this. So I set up and kind of weird you know I didn't I should have started in the back because there was there was a lot of guys that started and I got to this point I'm like oh man that's it that's you know it's all kind of like a little gap open and when the guys that came through initially they hit it pretty hard so it you know kind of burned a pretty little good match here but you know honestly at this point I'm pretty much on the ropes and with that wicked crosswind you know it's like not getting much draft here and then the, the surface over on you know to this far uh, right hand side is pretty pretty bad and so it's you know it's just kind of better fast so I'm you know trying to reposition myself here so I'm in you know in a little better spot as far as um, you know kind of what I would consider more of like a the sweet spot I guess you could say where you're not so far back where you're fighting to get a stay out of the wind um, so yeah, I mean, if you look, you know, I kind of keep working it, getting gapped a little bit here, you know, because it's hard to, you know, trying to match the power of the guy in front of me. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's Norman went off the course. Uh, you can probably see it in the early on, maybe first or second lap. He went off on the grass and it had to put a huge effort to get back on. And so he was kind of, you know, in a similar situation. He was pretty much on the ropes from the get-go and stayed in for a while. So I don't know. We got... Uh, dropped and then there was a group of four of us that you know kind of put that out that we rotated and stuff for a while and uh, uh, yeah so you know just trying to kind of work it work my way back up into the mix here and you know kind of felt like maybe around this point I'm starting to recover just a little bit you know getting back up in you know a little better spot where I'm not quite getting so you know so much gutter type riding and um you know if you look up there where mike is at he's kind of got a, a knack for always being in that you know the sweet spot where you got some good coverage there so you know i knew i was getting close to the the prime 
real estate when I was getting closer to Micah there. And, um, but you know, I'm still, you know, I don't know, still kind of feeling it, trying to recover. And that's one thing, if you, if you redline it a little bit in the heat, it's a lot different than, you know, when it's cooler out. again here at some point and uh, I don't know it's still trying to work and get a good good spot you know, it looks like it's still getting just a little bit racy but yeah it was uh, definitely a, a race of attrition you know when it's this windy there's you know it gets whittled down to you know, 11 or 12 guys there's just really not that much room to, to um, you know hide anywhere so you know, you can see them starting to get, you know, gapped a little here and there. There's a few other guys that are on the ropes and were, you know, getting dropped and you have to kind of go around them and whatever. So, um, yeah, definitely a, a definite race of attrition. So, you know, it's kind of getting that point where this is one of the uh, points, you know, where it was kind of a wall, so it's typically, you know, Anytime you move up when it's really slow, that's always a good idea. Yeah, this is where Rob, you know, good little gutter attack there. And so, I don't know, at this point I was just, uh, man, you know, I needed another lap or so to recover. And so we're going off again. But that, that's really the one that pretty much cracked me. And I don't know, that's uh, pretty much it, you know, single file, just drilling it. You know, I get dropped here a little bit. There's, you know, luckily a couple guys, I think Jacob and Norman were behind me, so I'm getting dropped here and we kind of clawed back. And, uh, and Norman and Jacob kind of put in another little dig, but you know, we're really, it's, I'm pretty much done. I think I got back connected here and then somebody else attacked and that was just pretty much something in the tailwind and that was pretty much all she wrote. So, you know, you, this is normally the part where you would be recovering, but if you're chasing to catch back on the headwind, you know, it's, that's, uh, you're pretty much on you know, thin ice by the time you get the, the tailwind and somebody else attacks through here. So I think that's Andy up there punching it and I think that's, uh, I don't know. I may have stayed on for another half a lap or a lap or something. Um, yeah, pretty much done for at this point. Um, you know, and I recorded the last little, uh, last little bit there with um, just my phone. You know, and I'm watching from the sidelines. Like I say, I rode around for another. There's four of us that rode, traded pulls for I don't know, maybe ten minutes until we got lapped, and then. I don't know, trying to stand for another couple laps, but I was just pretty much alone, so, you know, I just kind of watched the last 15 or 20 minutes from the sidelines and the last five laps there, so, um, yeah, that's, uh, pretty much the, the gist of it there. This is the, uh, pretty much the end of my point of being within the group there, so, uh, ended up being just kind of towards the end there. There was just eight guys left in the mix. So, um, yeah, this is, that's it. See you guys later. So, uh, yeah, just a little iPhone footage. Looks like a little, you know, five laps to go. Looks like Rob, Mike, and Andy were up the road there. And so, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of this. Look, definitely looked, uh, last few laps here looked pretty tough. Guys, you know, there's a, few, there's a few random guys out there that are just still, you know, riding around, drilling it, getting their money's worth. But I don't know. That's I did that till the the, uh, the temptation of the beer and the ice cooler there kind of took over. So yeah, and, uh, and for a minute I thought these guys were gonna stay away, but, uh, like Evan. Evan's the guy back there.
strung out, kind of accordion, and then get it back together there. I don't know, there's a point. I thought I was still filming, and Micah had it put in a little, uh, put in a little move, a little lap or so solo. But sorry, Mike, I didn't get it. Thought I was recording, but I, I was not. So uh, uh, anyway, I think this is kind of. Um, oh no, Rob! Like Rob took off there. Yeah, he's on a pretty short leash. Chased him down pretty quick there. So. Um, I think they're coming up on two to go, and I think Andy puts in a pretty. This is when Andy takes off. Put in a pretty good little uh, attack here that, I don't know, I think this is it. Uh, yeah. Maybe not. I think they're just on three to go. Maybe still. But um, yeah, you can see how windy it is with the flags flapping around and stuff. So yeah, this is where he attacks and he's coming around. Um, coming up on two to go right here. So, you know, those guys are sitting up, just kind of, you know, yelling there. You know, that they're sitting up. He's got a huge gap here, and so, you know, I thought he had it pretty much for sure. And, I don't know, it's definitely uh, a little easier to see the board, you know, the lap board this week, you know, especially when they yell. And that's always helpful just for any of you uh, officials watching this yelling out the laps as well is always helpful but you know it's optional I guess but, uh, anyway yeah here comes uh, they're coming up on one to go and you can see uh, Evan took off and that was a pretty big move to, you know, Andy's a pretty strong dude pretty big dude that's got you know, some heavy duty wants uh, but Evan's going pretty good right now so He's still got a pretty big gap there. Coming up on one to go. And here comes Evan. Group, so. Yeah, Andy! Uh, yeah, one to go. Still look pretty good, but yeah, it's not going to happen. These guys are still kind of setting each other up, you know, race for third, basically, at this point, it looks like. That's uh, pretty much it. Um, so yeah, there goes Evan. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, hard race. These guys are all pretty, going pretty good. But there's some dudes around here that are pretty tip-top condition and going to be ready for the next pretty good, big three-week block of racing. So, which will be, be pretty fun. So, anyway, yeah, there's... Evan, Evan taking the win, Andy gets second, and here comes the big field sprint for third, it's kind of difficult getting, trying to get all the action in, and Evan celebrating, We're taking the W, Andy gets second, up, Andy. and then the sprint for the third, and looks like uh, Stefan from Germany takes it, so, yeah, this week, we'll see you next week, thanks for watching.